What's up everybody, it's Tanner with Built Not Bought and today I'm coming at you with a little bit of a different video. We're not building anything today, we're just gonna talk about a product that I recently purchased and have been testing out for the last couple weeks and that is the N3 Hard Coat from Blacktail Studio. Uh, if you're a woodworker on social media, you're probably very familiar with Cam over at Blacktail Studio. Uh, he's a giant on YouTube and he builds absolutely beautiful tables. And he came out with a product called N3, which is a top coat that goes over whatever finish you decide to use on your tables or whatever projects you're working on. And it's supposed to give it added protection and a little bit more sheen, but does it actually work? We're gonna jump into that today. So Cam has come out with two products in this line. There's a hard coat and a top coat. And what I have here is the hard coat. I only purchased the hard coat because I wanted to give it a test before I spent a bunch of money on it. And in low light conditions, you can see the added sheen that it created on this island top. Now, when I built this island, I kind of knew that we were gonna have a little bit of trouble because it's made out of wood and there happens to be a sink right here. So as you know, Wood and water are not the best mix in the world, so I kind of figured that there'd be some wear and tear on this, and I finished it with just Rubio right away. Like I mentioned before, this table was, or this island was finished with Rubio Monocoat Pure, and I knew ahead of time there was gonna be some refinishing involved. I've refinished this twice in two years, so it's held up fairly well, but we definitely get some wear around the sink area and around where my son sits to eat supper every night. So I wanted a little added protection. I figured I might as well give it a try. Now this goes on about as simple as Rubio Mono Coat. It's kind of a wipe on, let it sit, buff it off product. And it's a ceramic coating. And you may have heard of ceramic coating in like the automobile industry, but now it's making its way into the woodworking industry as well. What's the difference between automobile ceramic coating and this? I have no idea. All I know is that this stuff actually works. Now, like I mentioned, I've used Rubio Monocoat a million times and I love their product. It leaves the wood very matte looking and this ramps it up to almost a semi-gloss sheen, which I do kind of like, especially on walnut. I would never do that if I didn't believe in this product. And I have to mention, I'm not getting paid to, to talk about this product. Cam doesn't even know I exist but I firmly believe this is an awesome product and it's a game changer and I figured it would be worthwhile to talk about it because I think other woodworkers are gonna be interested in this. So I've done some water tests on uh, this island off camera and I've had water sit on this overnight. So like a full 10 hours plus. And when I come in the morning, it is not soaked into the lumber at all. It's still beaded up like this here. So let's do a little close up and show you how well this repels water, which I think is one of the most important things in a protective coating. So is this a realistic scenario? If you have a two year old at home, you would agree with me that it absolutely is. Uh, I splashed this water all over my island, just like my son would if he was sitting up on the island. And you can watch me move this water around with my hand and the finish is working exactly how it's designed to and it's repelling that water uh, tremendously. I can basically squeegee this water right into the sink and then clean up as easy with a simple paper towel. I'm genuinely curious if you're a woodworker and you're watching this, what finishes do you use? What have you had good luck with and what have you not had good luck with? I am partial to Rubio Mono Coat, but I do have issues with uh, people setting cans down and leaving can rings specifically and I'm a little bit worried about anything that's hot that gets set down on it. I always use hot plates. So let me know in the comments below what you've used that you like. So this spot in particular is where my son Kai sits and eats and he likes to slam his forks and spoons on the table, uh, spill stirrup, eggs, you name it, all over the place. So this area takes on a lot of abuse. And like I said, I've had this for a couple weeks now and there's like zero sign of wear and tear in the new finish. Now there are some dents in our island top from that very thing, but since I put this coating on, I haven't noticed any new damages. 
To dive in a little bit more, I didn't film myself personally wiping this on because I did it a morning right before work because I was worried that the fumes were gonna be too strong for us in this house because when I open this up and smell it, it is a very strong smell. So I wanted to do it right before our whole family was leaving the house so it had time to kind of air out before we came back. The odor I would say is medium. Uh, it didn't stink up the entire house, but there is some odor to it. Uh, so be aware of that. And I just took a blue shop towel and I started dripping it across the center of the towel. I folded it up into like a small square and made like a line of this product on the towel. And I just went back and forth with the grain, trying to make even passes as I went. And then I cross hatched and went the opposing direction, let it cure, and then did one more coat the following day. And I'm really happy with how that turned out. So is this product, the N3 hard coat, worth it? I'll let you make the final decision on that because it is kind of expensive. I don't remember off the top of my head, I want to say it was like between $75 and $100 for this little bottle. And I used up three quarters of this to finish this island, which is about five feet wide by seven feet long to give you a little bit of an idea. I'm gonna say, in my opinion, yes, it's absolutely worth it. I'm going to try and convince customers to spend a little bit more money on their tables and add this to the Rubio Monocoat finish. I think this is going to be a game changer as far as wood finishing goes. I'm interested to see how this holds up over the course of the next year or two, and I'll probably do a follow-up review on this product if I'm still happy with it a year from now, so you can look out for that. My biggest concern is cans and hot objects. I haven't really put it to a can test yet. I'm a huge stickler with coasters. My wife gets super annoyed with me with it, but I'm always yelling at her to put a coaster down. You're ruining the, the walnut, uh, which I think every woodworker kind of cringes whenever they see somebody put a can down uh, on a nice solid wood piece of furniture. Um, let me know what you think of this type of video. It's a little bit outside my norm, but I think reviewing products that I truly uh, believe in uh, could be useful to some other woodworkers out there that might be interested in this product, whether it's tools or applicators or uh, finishes like this one itself. So let me know what you think of this type of video in the comments below, and I'd greatly appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. We'll see you on the next one.